So, um, so what was going through your mind? You crossed the finish line. What's in your head right now? I still can't believe it. I, I still I still can't believe it. Oh my god. I still can't believe it, man. <laughs> That's all you were thinking right then? Yeah. Ah, man. With far to go, I wanted to be there. With far to go, and if, I if, I knew if I was there, with far to go, and. I had a chance, and um, it's unfortunate what his name had to go down, but I saw that and I just took the opportunity and I just went for it. And that's it. Did you think he was you were too far behind at the bell? Or what no, you I mean whether he fell or not, I knew what, I knew I was like I needed to go hunt him down. That's that was, that was that's what's going to my mind for like what three laps ago. So yeah, I, I finished that cr cr line. I was like, what happened? I still don't know what happened. <laughs> and you've only been steepling what a year and a half. I mean, how did you, how did you get to national champion this quickly? Man, I remember last year I was watching this race from the from the stands. I was very disappointed. My coach actually made me come back and watch it. So I knew I didn't want that feeling again this year. So I took it race by race, made the finals, and then I, I don't know whatever happened happened, and I I won, and I, was, I still can't believe it, man. I still can't believe it. <laughs> Yep. You're make somebody pay for it. Today. Yeah. You made everybody pay for that's it. true. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> uh, so just, uh, just so even, even, even when you were like, you know, picking up ground, picking up ground, you're trying to pay, uh, pace off of Brian, uh, off of Brian and stuff like that. Yeah. Did you, did you, was just the feeling in your body that it's like uh, I'm gonna be ready to make this move again? Yeah, I was feeling good, and I was, I saw we was, we were closing the, uh, on him, and then uh, there's another guy behind him, and I saw I was closing on him because I was using him to close on Brian, and then. With 400 to go, he went down, and I was like, "Oh God!" And I just went for it. What about that last, that, uh, the last water jump in the last barrier? Right? It's like you're, you're free and clear at that point. You're, yep. at, you're in front. Yeah. Uh, how cautious? How secure did you have to be on? Oh this my God! I, after seeing him go down, I knew I, I knew I had to. I had to be on my toes every single barrier, every single water jump. And yeah, my last water jump wasn't pretty, but. I made it over. <laughs> you were standing yeah. up straight. That was the most important. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, thank you. Also, what's it like being the first Minnesota athlete to get one of these in 15 years? Oh my god, I, I didn't even know that was a... That's the thing. Second, second in 47 years. Hey, I'm, I'm honored, man. Go Gophers. Go Gophers. Go Gophers. <laughs> Any words for your teammates back home? Yeah. Thanks, guys. I, thank you for everything you guys have done for me throughout the season. And I want to give a shout out to my little brother uh, who just graduated high school and I was I wasn't able to make it. So congratulations, brother. What are you doing for the summer? Uh, training. And, uh, are you going yeah. to the morning? Huh? Going to the morning? We haven't talked about that yet. Uh, we haven't, I mean, maybe, because I don't have cross country. So I'll probably extend my. Thank you. I was, I was wondering about your background. So your, your parents were here when you were right? Yeah. And were you born there or were you born over here? I was born there, actually. Yeah, I came here when I was 12. You were here at 12? Okay. Yeah. Was, was that tough at all, making that transition to America? Yeah, I mean, I didn't speak English, so yeah, really? <laughs> it was very tough. So how, and where did you end up, where did you move to? Where did you I moved to Minneapolis, to? actually, so, oh. I, I, and I, the university is like 20 minutes from where I was raised, so. All right. Yeah. When we uh, talked to you after the, the first round, yeah. and you ran the fast time, you said your goal was just to be All-American. Yeah. And you didn't consider yourself the favorite. Now that you've won, I mean, do you consider yourself the best steepler in the nation now? <laughs> <laughs> I, I suppose you could say that, man. I don't know. Coming in, my goal is top seven, and um, I won. So I don't know. It's it's amazing, yeah. And going back, you said the, the PR of Big Tens, which was like 844. 44, yeah, yeah. And now you're down to 832. Yeah, that's just insane. <laughs> that's insane. Any idea how you did it? I don't know, man. Just believing in my coach and just believing in myself every race and taking it race by race. Congrats. When, when, yeah. when, you, when, you, when you see 832 and, and think that like, hey, if I'm in a field with, you know, with a lot of the best American professionals, whether it's in Des Moines or, you know, or, or, or go, uh, going forward, I mean, how much does that excite you to, uh, to think that, uh, that this thing could be under 830 pretty soon? Yeah, I mean, I guess that's a new goal now. Okay. You know, that's a new goal. So hopefully, yeah. And it also gives me confidence that I can be able to run with, like, with a lot of guys um, on flat, not, not over the steeple. So, yeah. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Abza. Thank you.